Hey folks, Pat here from DNS. This Madison Area Fishing Report is current as of February 23rd. Well, normally I'd be reading my disclaimer about ice safety, but in my opinion, the ice is done for the year. Uh, you might still see some folks out around town, but with about a dozen folks falling through in different areas around in the last couple of days, I'm officially recommending folks stay off the ice from here on out. Uh, it's hard to believe we only had a little over a month of fishable ice, but it is what it is. And now we can look forward to open water, uh, hopefully in the not too distant future. Just a couple things to cover quick. Uh, if you got some time and, and you want to pass on your angling knowledge, uh, the DNR is looking for angling education instructors. So these would be teaching like the intro to fishing classes, youth fishing classes, uh, stuff like that. Uh, so you can go on the DNR website and look up angler and education instructor and find out how you can do that. Um, they, they do great work introducing a lot of folks to fishing and um, it'd be a great opportunity if you got some time on your hands to pass along um, you know all your knowledge that you've learned over the years and um, they also have a turkey hunting e education thing that you can do too so if you're a turkey hunter uh, it's also a great way to pass on your knowledge uh, the big uh, biggest news i guess around town now that there really isn't much fishing going on is the fishing expo so uh, you know it's a uh, Whole bunch of people out there at the Alliance Center. Uh, it starts today, the 23rd at one o'clock and goes through Sunday. Uh, I think it's done at four on Sunday. So, uh, but yeah, great opportunity to go and see what's new in the fishing world. Uh, a lot of, a lot of vendors there from like different resorts up in Canada, stuff like that. And uh, just a lot of cool stuff to see, a lot of great speakers. And uh, yeah, it's a, uh, you know, Wisconsin tradition and without much fishing to do this weekend, you know, why not? Why not just go over there and think about fishing at least. So uh, there's that. And uh, let's see, what else? Uh, shop news. Uh, we have, um, yeah, I made a post about this earlier in the week, 10% off all tip-ups. We'll be running all week here before we start putting that stuff away. And then I'm doing 20% off augers. So we want to move some of this stuff out and get ready for uh, summer stuff to get moved in. I'll probably post some other kind of general shop sale later this week. And um, But I think after like maybe like the 1st of March, I'll be clearing most of this stuff out. Uh, Earlier this week, Tuesday and Wednesday, I had two groups in from the UW Limnology uh, Department, some students coming through. And of course, uh, the Limnology folks teach people, teach students about lakes and science and, and fish and, and stuff like that. And a lot of these fish, people are pursuing uh, biology degrees, stuff like that, uh, which is great. And, you know, the, of course, it's important to learn about the science aspect, but uh, the professors over here uh, wanted the students to learn more about uh, kind of the business side of fishing and and the people side of fishing so they're, they're taking them around to different places and, and showing them uh, different things and my shop was uh, part of that so yeah we gave a little talk to them it was cool having them come through a lot of good questions and uh you know some of them were avid anglers others had never fished once so uh yeah uh it was good to good to get a chance to talk to some of those folks and uh i'll be doing that pr probably every year uh from here on out we did it last year too so yeah good times um other stuff, it, let's see, shop news, got posters on the wall. Um, let's see what's going on. Over over in Okachi uh, this Saturday, they got uh, their sporting collectible rummage sale, if you want to check that out. I got a poster here for um, the uh, Wounded Warriors Project is having a fundraiser. I don't have a date on this poster, I just realized, so I'll have to figure that out. Um, the, what's going on here? The Muskie Expo, Expo is going on uh, March 15th and 16th up in Wausau, uh, the Muskie Capital Chapter of Muskies Inc. is having their Muskie School the 23rd of March over there in Wanakee. A great opportunity to see some great speakers and learn more about muskie fishing. They also have a uh, nationally recognized speaker, Jeremy Smith, coming in on April 6th. Uh, the uh, Stoughton uh, Hunting and Fishing Garage Sale, a great opportunity to go down and get some deals on some stuff. is happening in Stoughton at the BFW on March 3rd, so that's next Sunday. And if you live in the area, there's a blood drive. Uh, just up the street here on uh, Tuesday next week. Uh, another plug for uh, Kyle Azempel, a Black Earth Angling Company, hosting his Drinking with Scissors events. These are great fly tying events. I went over to the one this last Tuesday at the Muscle Lounge. You can see they had a great turnout, probably 40 people there, a bunch of folks tying flies. If you come over there and you tie a fly or you bring a vice and tie a fly, uh, you're entered automatically to win. Uh, Kyle's giving away a... Um, St. Croix Connect is one of their new fly rods they've got out. We'll be carrying those here in the shop, but Kyle is uh, their newly appointed uh, first Midwest ambassador for St. Croix, so congrats to him for that. Uh, Kyle does a great job with these events, and they're a great social opportunity to get out and uh, hang out with uh, like-minded people. So, uh, yeah, 
just want to give him a shout for that. Um, I think that's it for shop news. Let's get on to the report. So, um, oh, we're way up here in Beaver Dam. Uh, let's see, down here in Madison, we have had some warm temperatures this last week. Um, it was 60 degrees a couple days, or pushing 60. Really did a number on the ice. Uh, what little ice we did have deteriorated to the point where even if you could get on, it's not in good shape. Uh, the good news is there are many other fishing opportunities in the area, and the forecast looks pleasant for the next weekend uh, with several warm days predicted, predicted into next week, uh, generally around the chain. Um, these are what a friend of the shop, uh, Tim Brown, calls uh, the dark times when you can't get out on the ice, but you also can't cast a rod in many places or launch a boat. So just kind of in a holding period right now, but uh, hopefully that changes soon. And dramatics aside, there are a couple shallow areas around town where you can still wet a line. And, and as those areas are also you know shallow and, and for the first warm up, they are usually attract fish. So I bet you could find some panfish working nice jig tipped with a a uh, small bobber tipped with a spike under a small bobber. Uh, there's great walleye and sauger bite happening on the Wisconsin Rock and Mississippi rivers uh, with walleye fatheads and walleye flies bringing in great numbers of fish. Uh, and don't forget that the trout uh, re trout season, uh, catch and release trout season is open right now. Um, and, you know, we got uh, some great conditions. Snow's melted and, and gets to get out and enjoy these first days of spring or maybe it's still winter. I'm not sure. It's February, so it's weird to talk about uh, spring, but Anyway, it's warm out, so get outside. Uh, up here on the north side, Cherokee, uh, we have, I was up there Wednesday morning and it was about half open water. Uh, just the bay in here was all the head ice on it. And I, I don't know what the warm temps yesterday did to it, uh, but if it's not open, um, all the way open yet, it will be very soon and, and the ice is not safe there. Uh, the 113 bridge area down here has uh, wide open water and folks have been getting down there fishing. I haven't heard any reports back but normally uh, down there you could find walleye or crappie cruising through, some catfish coming in and out of there. And um, yeah, it's a great, great uh, early, early season spot. So I'm sure we're going to be hearing some reports out of there soon. On um, Mendota, ice conditions have decreased uh, dramatically, like I mentioned in the last week, with large areas of open water showing up across the lake. Um, I want to thank uh, Dave Lundy, friend of the shop here, for sending me uh, some pics. This is off, off of Shorewood. You can see large area open water there. This is sort of like a panoramic of, of, a, of a video he sent me. But, uh, yeah, lots of little patches of open water, huge cracks showing up places. And then uh, this is a pick of Marshall Park down there, so that's wide open. So, yeah, uh, I guess you could launch a boat at Marshall and get out there and putz around, you know, out in the um, couple hundred yards of open water they got out there if you want. But, um, yeah, we're just waiting on official full open water here uh, pretty soon. Otherwise, other areas around uh, – Lake Mendota would, you know, be Mar obviously Marshall Park just showed you there. Spring Harbor is probably wide open. I heard the University Bay is wide open. Uh, so you could launch down here uh, and, and mess around out in University Bay if you like. Um, the Tenney Park, too. There's open water over here at Tenney Park, at least on the inside pocket here where the water drains out. Uh, I haven't he heard of any. Now, of course, the river is wide open here. And I haven't heard of any fish stacked up at the dam yet, but uh, that will be closing March 1st, as that's a, a fish refuge over there. Uh, kind of the same deal on Lake Monona. The ice is crap everywhere. Um, the, and in fact, there's a bunch of open water where the Ahara dumps in over here. And that's a great area where fish tend to stack up. So, you know, if you want to launch a canoe, a canoe or a kayak or something over there, you probably could uh, and mess around out there. Uh, panfish, walleyes and stuff stack up in this area as it, you know, it warms up there. Um, but yeah, the ice on, on the lake itself is not safe. I heard about someone going through at Schluter Beach. I heard about uh, someone at, at Weechobuck Bay or Squaw Bay. Uh, I haven't heard anybody fishing turbul all year. Um, and a couple of folks went through on the Triangle, uh, North Triangle, this last week. So, um, yep, I'm just saying stay off the ice and be, play it safe. It's not worth dying for getting a couple bluegills. Lake Wingra, same deal. Just stay off the ice. Uh, a bunch of small bluegills out there and uh, it's not worth it there, um, and it's not open water yet. Although, uh, you know, the dam here below um, where the w water comes out of Wingra is probably opening up nicely, and uh, there were panfish just stacked in there this year. So uh, it'd be, it might be worth going down there with a, you know, something, a little something under a bobber and check that out. Um, otherwise, uh, the launch over here at Lattice Park is open, and this whole area on the Yahara River where it goes under the belt line is open. And that can be some great early season panfish action over there. And that water is open, continuing down into 
uh, upper mud. I don't know the conditions of all the ice on upper mud. It's certainly not safe to fish, but whether or not you can get a boat in there, I don't know. But all of upper mud can be some great early season ice fishing. Um, down on Wabisa, same deal. Folks have been going through. I heard two, fo two people went through over by Bagpack. Uh, someone went through down on Goodland. Um, and then oh, just yesterday up at Lake Farm, you know, folks have been talking about Lake, Far Lake Farm and how good the ice is. Well, it, that changed quickly yesterday. I heard five people went through. Thankfully, everybody's okay. All the reports I've heard of folks going through, everybody made it out okay. But, geez, um, yeah, just don't push your luck. So, um, anyway, uh, haven't heard a ton of action off Wabisa, but this lake farm area is going to be opening up here, too, is where that current comes through and opens that up. And that's some good shallow water that will warm up quickly. So, give that a look. Um, the area below Babcock, I believe, is a fish refuge as well. Um, but I don't think that starts until March 1st, and there's some open water down there. Uh, Fish Camp County Park up here where the Yahara dumps into Kiganza should be some nice open water there. Otherwise, the rest of the lake is ice covered but not safe. So we'll just have to wait that out, that one out down there. Down to Lake Kashkanang, I've heard on uh, the Rock River below Kashkanang, uh, some pike and, and a couple catfish actually out of the Indian Ford uh, Dam there area. Uh, I hear that Kashkanang still has enough ice on it that you can't really do much in a boat, but folks are uh, enjoying the open water up here where the rock comes in uh, near Black Hawk Island, and then getting good walleyes uh, for all the way from Kashkanang up to Jefferson and including the Jefferson Dam with uh, walleye fatheads being popular, of course, under like a jig and a minnow type deal, um, but also uh, walleye flies. So I, I just got restocked on those this week, so we got a full selection of them. Come on in and get them. If you've never tried that, it's a super effective way to uh, catch walleyes this time of year. So uh, get in and check those out if you like. Don't know about anything going on up to Beaver Dam. Uh, some folks were getting out on Devil's Lake. Uh, I don't know why I can't see it right now, but oh yeah, it's right there. Uh, Devil's Lake. Um, we're getting out there and get, getting some brown trout as as recently as just two days ago. But I'm not sure what the ice conditions are up there, so I'm not. Uh, maybe just call the ranger station if you want to check it out. But I don't know. So uh, the Wisconsin River is wide open. Uh, same thing as the Rock River. They're getting fish on walleye on I mean, with walleye fatheads under a jig and a minnow type situation. Otherwise, I've heard about uh, folks doing well drop shotting uh, walleye. Uh, fat heads too. So uh, deep holes up and down the river, dams. So Prairie du Sac here. Uh, I'm sure we'll have a lot of boats on it this weekend. Uh, you can get up to the Dells, Pete and Well, Castle Rock dams, all uh, great spots where the fish tend to stack up. I don't uh, have much to report out of Lake Wisconsin other than Ron Bearfield, uh, who guides out there and in Madison uh, quite often and is a friend of the shop, said that he was able to get out. Uh, he said most of the lake is, is wide open and he was able to get up into the kind of this northeast end and up into the river, although he said they didn't have much luck uh, finding fish in some of the deeper holes that he, he likes to fish up there. Uh, so they went down to Prairie du Sac Dam and pounded walleyes and saugers. So thanks, Ron, for that report. Uh, otherwise, um, like I said, all the way up the river, uh, great action if you can find deeper holes. The Dells is a great spot. Uh, and, and the dams at Pete and Well and Castle Rock. Otherwise, over to La Crosse on the Mississippi. I haven't heard um, of any action really on the, on, the, on the sloughs and stuff, although I did hear that some folks were getting out kind of north of La Crosse, still on the ice, but that's got to be sketchy. I heard about some folks in my bait guy just said he drove by DeSoto on Wednesday and saw folks out on the ice, So, but that's got to be going quick. Um, otherwise, over to Milwaukee, uh, the brown trout and steelhead are continuing to show up in good numbers in the harbors. Harley that works here at the shop was over there yesterday and did well. Otherwise, uh, the, they're also, those fish are moving into the tributaries. So the Milwaukee River, Menominee River, um, all the way up the whole East Coast. Any, any river that you find, you're probably gonna find brown trout and steelhead in there. Sounds like more brown trout right now, um, but uh, there, there's some steelhead mixed in and that, that'll improve if we can uh, get some rain, should push some more fish up that way. Um, otherwise, like I said, the, the, the southern Wisconsin and mostly, you know, northwest of Madison is just some of the best trout fishing literally in the world. I tell people this all the time and you should really get out and check it out this time of year. It's a great time to be out there. The weeds are down, no bugs. It's easy casting and really we are blessed uh, to have some great trout action in this, uh, in very close to Madison in a lot of cases. Um, so, you know, if you're running a, um, Rapalas and tube jigs on the spinning gear side of things can be super effective. Otherwise, woolly buggers with a nymph uh, run through deeper uh, tail outs and corners can be really effective. Um, but really, all you, all you really need uh, this time of year is a pink squirrel. 
Uh, I, I talk about it many times. I, I guess I forgot to put a picture up here. But another really effective fly this time of year is called a mop fly. Um, now, fly fishing purists are rolling their eyes right now because they don't really believe that this is a true fly pattern. But uh, I tell you what, it catches fish, uh, especially this time of year. Uh, they call it a mop fly because this material here is uh, literally comes from the end of a mop. And, uh, you know, nobody's really sure what they look for. There, there are some uh, like grubs that can be, sometimes be found in, um, in streams. Uh, maybe, maybe it's a, a crane fly nymph. Uh, who knows? Whatever it is, they, they catch fish. I have them in these two colors. I got some pink ones on the way, pink and, uh, those, and a lighter cream too. So um, those will be coming soon. But yeah, swing by and grab some mop flies. It's a, it's a super effective way to catch fish. Okay, I think that does it for the report. Thanks so much for tuning in. Um, be safe out there. I, I wouldn't try to get on the ice, but if you do, uh, good luck. And uh, if you get out fishing, good luck. And thanks for tuning in. Call the shop, 241-4225 if you want us to expand on anything. Otherwise, uh, take care and we will chat next week. Thanks so much.